uh, is life like a bullfight in which we are the bull? Uh, there's a very, very interesting later section, which I don't think needs any kind of commentary from me for its significance to come out, in which uh, Landsberg describes the bullfight and, and, and sees in it a metaphor for human life. It's a very compelling. The bull enters the ring full of life uh, and naive and gradually learns that, uh, that uh, life is a tragedy. And all things are an enactment of a tragedy in which uh, life is, is considered the, the bull ring being, being the world of the bull and life contained within the bullfight itself. That, that life is a uh, struggle that you cannot win. The, the, car, the, 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 deck, the deck of cards is stacked against you, uh, that you, you can't overcome it and uh, come into the world with hopes and, and dreams and uh, potentialities. What we get is a, a, a gradual introduction to the unfairness of the world and then our eventual death and non-existence. Maybe that is life, man. Maybe it is, uh, but not for Lance Burke. The whole point, I think, of his you know, really compelling, brilliant description of the bullfight and the metaphor that it, it can stand as for, for our existence, the whole point uh, of it uh, is that, find it. Is that this is not our existence? It may be how our existence appears to us at certain points, but it's not the absolute. It's not the real truth of our existence. Again, this is just the very beginning of that section, section eight, the intermezzo in the bullring, page two nineteen. He says the life of a man without God is much like tragedy, and, and there's qualification. Uh, well, maybe this is the way life is for those for whom there is no God. If you live in a godless universe and you live your life out, it can be fairly compared to the tragedy of the, of, of the bullfight, the bull and the bull ring. But uh, as is revealed gradually in the latter sections, uh, Landsberg is a very committed Christian, not just a religious view, a Christian view. So the life of man without God is like a tragedy. Which is not to say that life is like a tragedy. The, 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 the deepest reality of our existence is, is that it's not necessarily true. Uh, and that seems to be underlying what's going on in Section 5, so-called ontological basis. Uh, we really get a, a, a deeper understanding of what Landsberg's view of, of death is if we look at this section. As he says, uh, beginning of the specifically human problem of death is created by the transformation of the living being into person. And we're familiar with that thought, just recapping uh, before, that is that death reveals itself in its most fundamental reality to the person, not to the organism. Death is, is not really, in a way, the major threat to the organism. Death is the threat of annihilation of the person and its spirit. Uh, the person is the point right, of the body. The person is the end, uh, the goal of the body. Uh, it says in the middle of that first paragraph on page 205, and here one may think of Yonah, the organic process is in fact of ambiguous significance in regard to the shaping of the person. On the one hand, the organic process, by its resistance, compels the person to struggle for realization. That sense of um, the organic process being one of struggle is very reminiscent of Jonas's idea of the burden of mortality and the need for the, uh, the ever-perpetuating need for, for, for metabolizing. But the notion of realization is something different. On the other hand, it offers the person the basis and the opportunity of realization. So the body itself, we must struggle with the body. The body is struggling 
to survive at every moment, Jonas would say. But Landsberg, deep, deeper point seems to be that we struggle for our realization as spirit or person through the body. That is, this is difficult because we have to overcome all sorts of things having to do with our physicality to express our personhood. But this is the means, this is, the, this is our opportunity to be persons, is, is through the body. So it's both resistance and opportunity to be, body, to be personality, to be a, a, an individual, to be a real self. And he ends that paragraph saying, something in organic life evades personalization. We are not angels, he says. <laughs> we are not angels. We are not. We, 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 are, we are material beings, you know, as well as primary spirit, person. He continues uh, on page 205, the fulfillment of personal existence coincides only rarely with death. That's very existential point, right, that in itself, that our fulfillment as persons only rarely coincides with death. And it is only in myth and dreams that the hero finds death as the culminating point of perfection. From this fact, we may already conclude that death is not, in its primitive sense, an, an imminent possibility of personal existence, of the Dasein, that's the Heideggerian word for human being, being there, human existence, itself. It's not an imminent possibility of personal existence. Now, Jonas showed us that it was the imminent possibility of organic existence. That is that, as he said, death carries, or life carries death within itself. Death is part of the constitutive element of, of, of life. But if we consider the level of the person, Landsberg says, that is not true. Death is not built in to personhood in the way that's built in, perhaps, to organic existence. Death comes from an alien sphere and is introduced, as it were, from outside into our existence. Death is threat, death is menace. This seems to be very, very important to Landsberg's philosophy of death, and, you know, on a less important level, it's a big distinction from ex the existentialist at the time, saying that death is death, nothingness is not built into person, personal being, the ontology of our being as persons or self. It is introduced from an alien sphere. It not only appears as threat and menace, it really is threat and menace. It really is alien. The spiritual appropriation of death, he continues, is the supreme task of each human person. The spiritual appropriation of death. Now, here we're really moving into religious territory and really moving into Christian territory, no doubt about it. And we should keep that in mind, that is the notion that this is the supreme task of each human being, the spiritual appropriation of death. Now, again, I'm thinking, I think it's natural to think of the existentialists in this regard, the importance of death in terms of one's personhood in the existentialist philosophy. But that seemed to be an openness towards death, an openness towards our impending nothingness, an openness towards nothingness itself. Uh, that is an acceptance of that and a refusal to run away from that was Gray's point, I think, in saying that the, an awareness of our own personal death is necessary for our authenticity as a person. But isn't Landsberg saying something different here when he says the spiritual appropriation of death rather than the simple passive openness and acceptance of death is our task, our supreme task? Uh, personal existence, he continues, is not fatality. Its task is to transform the fatality of death into liberty. Now that is quite, quite different. Now, and here, here I think it might be valuable to remember uh, the beginning of Gray's essay, The Idea of Death and Existentialism, where he says meta, uh, existentialism is both a metaphysics and a mood, and let's talk about the metaphysics. The, the metaphysics that uh, was being rejected, that is the basic idea of the structure of reality that was being rejected by the existentialists was the metaphysics of being. And I, the metaphysics that the primary thing 
is being and that perhaps nothingness, non-being, and therefore death is an illusion, things simply are. In a different metaphysics in which nothingness was accepted as the primary category. Maybe it's correct. I think here you can say that Landsberg is uh, not an existentialist metaphysically, because he, it, what he goes on to describe is a metaphysics of being, a metaphysics of presence, not absence, presence. Um, he says on page 206, uh, the human person is not, in its true essence, an existence towards death. So Heidegger is wrong. Like every other existence, after its own fashion, it is a movement towards self-realization and towards eternity. It tends towards its own perfection. That is straight out of Thomas, man. That is straight out of Thomas Aquinas. That is Catholic theology, Catholic metaphysics. Wow. We're reading Catholic. Pretty cool. It tends towards its own perfection, even if this means passing through the straight and narrow gate of death. It can only change its outer and ontological aspect by turning death into the means of its own fulfillment. Metaphysics do not originate in the nothingness revealed by anguish, but in the being, which by its very nature participates in the philosophical ethos. Landsberg uh, is a philosopher of being, not a philosopher of nothing. And the notion is that each thing that exists tends towards its own perfection, is reaching towards a goal, trying to become what it is, what it's meant to be, what it has to be to be what it truly is. That is the, the, the most basic fact about being. The most basic fact about the universe is that things are striving to become what they really are. And that is a striving. And, and the suggestion here, of course, is that uh, the human being, who is essentially a person, is uh, called upon to engage in a very, very difficult task. And that is to spiritually appropriate death, the reality of death. And we remember that the overwhelming experience of the death of the other was absent. Not presence, uh, present absence, you might say. It wasn't being, it was nothingness, really. Uh, but isn't Landsberg saying there that as person, we are, we essentially are, and uh, that death uh, is an obstacle to our being, but one that has to be overcome. Now here, uh, we, we get into... Uh, I think a heavily Christian part of it. Let's try to wrap this up by looking at uh, the rest of this section and 